hello and welcome to my channel i hope you are all well whatever you're doing i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon and evening and a very warm welcome and i hope you're all keeping safe i'm going to read something to you because this is really interesting and it gives you another perspective on everything that's going on it's all been a bit sort of crazy and there's a lot of uncertainty at the moment there's definitely an atmosphere. I definitely feel that there is an atmosphere at the moment. And I was talking to a few of my work colleagues and I, I feel like I'm in a movie and they all feel the same. I feel like I'm in an apocalypse movie. But one thing that I have noticed, which is really nice to come out of all this, is that we're all sticking together. We're all helping each other. There are people going, checking in on the neighbours, making sure that they're okay, offering to buy food for them, to go shopping for them. There are people checking in on their elderly grandparents, making sure they're okay, checking on their family, doing shopping. There's this, we're all in this together, let's help each other mentality, which I do really like. And it's not nice to see that, especially with all the panic buying and everybody buying everything on the shelves and you walk in the supermarket and there's literally nothing on the shelves in the supermarkets. But it's nice to see that there is some kindness coming out of it, which I think is really nice. And this is what I found online. It's, some, it's by somebody called G. Jill. I can't pronounce her first name very well, so I don't want to pronounce it in case I get it wrong. But this is really interesting and it gives you another perspective about what's going on. So it's called What If? There is so much fear, and perhaps rightly so, about COVID-19. And what if we subscribe to the philosophy that life is always working out for us, that there is an intelligence far greater than humans at work, that all is in connected, interconnected? Sorry. What if the virus is here to help us, to reset, to remember what truly important? Reconnect to a family and community. Reducing travel so that the environment, the skies, the air, our lungs all get a break. Parts of China are seeing blue sky and clouds for the first time in forever. Since the factories being shut down, working from home rather than commuting to work, less pollution, more personal time, reconnecting with family as there is more time at home. An invitation to turn inwards, a deep meditation rather than the usual extroverted going out to self soothe, to reconnect with self, what is really important to me, a reset economically, the working poor, the lack of health care, access for over 30 million in the US, the need for paid sick leave, how hard does one need to work to be able to live, to have a life outside of work, to face a morality, check back into life, into living life rather than simply working 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 and washing our hands how did that become a new thing that we needed to remember but yes we did the presence of grace for all the sh there is a shift on the way in our society what if it is one that is favorable for us what if this virus is an alley in our evolution in our remembrance of what it means to be connected humane living a simpler life to be less impactful more kind to our environment an offering from the heart this morning offered us another perspective, another way of relating to this virus, this unfolding, this evolution. It was time for change, we all knew that, and change has arrived. And I thought that was really interesting, reading it, because it makes you look at the virus in a different way. It makes you think that maybe this is our way of all coming back together and connecting with each other remembering to keep in touch with our loved ones because life can take over. There is a side where we all just working, working, working and we forget about, sometimes we forget about the people around us and this is our chance to be able to connect back with them, to connect back with nature, to connect back with ourselves and maybe start living at a more slower pace. So it really was an interesting perspective and another way of looking at the virus. And I hope you are all keeping safe. And I hope to see you in my next video. And if you enjoyed watching this, please like, subscribe. 
and I'll see you soon and take care and stay safe and thank you for watching. Bye!